Okay, <clears throat> so it's a little bit of language here. If we start off with a definition we had before, so we have a matrix, a couple of vectors, well, the same vector twice, and a scalar. In this case, x is what we call an eigen vector of the matrix A, and lambda is an eigen value of A. It okay, makes sense. And lambda is just a scalar, so it's a value, whereas x is a vector, so it's an eigen vector of A. Okay, so A, the transformation, is the thing that you start with, and then you ask yourself which points under that transformation are only changed in a linear manner, and by how much is that linear change occurring. And to find this, you need to be able to solve the equations. So if we work out the determinant of A minus lambda I equals zero, if we solve that, <coughs> then we will find the eigenvalues of A. We'll be able to solve that for lambda and work out the eigenvalues of the matrix A.